Today, I'm in the field in sunny Arizona interviewing Tim Marsh, the president and CEO of Bell Copper Corporation. Dr. Marsh, I understand that Bell has added a new mineral property to its portfolio. For years, you have been a one-trick pony. What changed? Well, back in 2018, we did a, a, a joint venture on our, our what we called our Cabo project back then. We changed the name to Perseverance. Uh, Cordoba Minerals was our joint venture partner. They financed K20. Uh, they very quickly earned uh, you know, the first 25 percent of, of the project by finishing that hole and then uh, we, we ran a small magnetotelluric survey in the early part of 2020 and the results of that uh, still aren't out but uh, they'll be coming. Uh, but really uh, Cordoba has, has been working on uh, kind of some reorganization, getting their affairs in order, and they haven't been working on a, a, time, a time schedule that suits Bell very well. So uh, we really need to drive our own wagon and uh, adding a new project, a good project in Arizona, not very far from, from Perseverance, is uh, the best way forward. I keep hearing about Big Sandy. Who is she and why should Bell shareholders care? Big Sandy is an old sweetheart. It's uh, very quickly back in 2009, after getting some geological success at Kaaba or Perseverance, became clear the same uh, concept applied 18 miles to the south at the Diamond Joe Porphyry. Uh, that, that porphyry is cut by the same fault that's cut Perseverance and uh, the top of that should be out in the valley. Just as soon as I began looking out in the valley in the same sort of a position uh, where we, we are finding perseverance, uh, I began finding copper out in the gravels, uh, exotic copper, copper that had leached out of the rock and been redeposited in some of the youngest gravels in the valley. A lot of exotic iron, red, red hematite, uh, copper in uh, what's called neodocite. And so it was very clear early on we were getting uh, uh, the right kind of responses. So uh, as soon as it became clear that, that Cordoba wasn't working at the, the kind of pace that Bell wanted to work at, uh, we, we went uh, picked up the claims at Big Sandy and uh, initiated the same sort of geophysical survey uh, using Quantec to run a Spartan magnetotelluric survey on, on the Big Sandy ground. Uh, the first day of the survey, I went out to to meet with the, uh, the geophysicists, and wandering around, I found chrysocolla and calcocyte on the surface. And uh, within a week, we had 31 more claims staked and uh, added another 14 magnetotelluric stations to the geophysical survey. So we're we're in a patch of ground that's yielding uh, very quick geological revelations and is driving our exploration there. So, what's next at Big Sandy? Uh, we'll be getting our uh, some of the some of the surface samples that we've collected. There's a fan glomerate there. That's a, an alluvial fan deposit that's washed from from some unknown location, presumably the target we're looking for. The fan itself is is made up of pieces, clasps uh, that, that are entirely derived from a porphyry copper deposit, veins and and uh, fairy creek and just all the sorts of things you find in a porphyry copper deposit are in this uh, this fan glomerate. The source of it isn't exposed at the surface. There is no outcrop on the property, but there is outcrop uh, a mile to the east of us, and there are water wells in the area that have hit bedrock as shallow as about 200 meters. So uh, we know uh, depths are reasonable. Uh, the source of, of this fan glomerate has to be pretty, pretty close. Uh, the, the class in the fan glomerate aren't rounded, they haven't traveled far, they're angular like the rocks around me here. And uh, so the source is close by and it's it's a porphyry copper deposit. It's, that's very clear. So the, the next step is, uh, and we expect to be, be uh, doing it within a couple of months, is drilling. Uh, we expect by the end of this month, the end of August, to have a report back from Quantech on the geophysics. And hopefully that will confirm a spot that I've already picked out for uh, the first drill hole. That hole should have bedrock within a thousand feet of the surface and uh, the only reason we'll drill it deeper than 1500 feet would be if we're in a porphyry copper deposit drilling ore. So within a, within a couple of months uh, we expect to be uh, 
out on the ground getting some grilling done. And what about perseverance? Is it just a bust? Is this the old switcheroo? No, it's not the switcheroo. Uh, perseverance is a great project. Cordoba knows it. They're getting their, their house in order uh, so they can uh, take all the steps that are necessary to develop a great project and push it forward. Uh, Big Sandy is Bell's uh, Bell's reaction to a slow pace of play. It's uh, it's you know adding something great to our uh, uh, our portfolio. It, it, it doesn't detract at all from Perseverance. Great things are going on there, and will continue to go on. And and uh, when Cordoba is ready to uh, to hit the gas, I think you're going to see things go really fast at Perseverance. That day is not today. In the meantime, we're gonna we're gonna do what we think we're good at, and that is explore for new copper deposits at uh, at Big Sandy.